Welcome survivors, my name is Luthias and this is Immersive Gaming. Today I am going to teach you how to level every skill in Scum as fast as possible. And then at the end of this guide I will be showing you what the exp what experience we have gained with every single skill we leveled up by doing it for five minutes so that you can decide which skills seem easier for you to level up and which ski skills seem harder for you to level up making your decision of your starting build a lot easier and i'm going to try and give you all this information as fast as possible so get your notepads out and let's get going what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to just create a character in single player so that i don't move around with him because if i move around with him then i'm going going to be leveling up running and endurance and i want him to be standing still so that we can precisely see how much experience we are gaining by doing my method on every single skill there is okay so let's go this is going to be our character. No skills. Let's go. What I've decided is to do every single uh, method of leveling up all the guides for a minute precisely. I'm going to be running a timer for one minute precisely so that I can show you guys everything that I do in that minute. And then, yeah, making the video a lot shorter instead of showing you guys me doing it for five minutes, okay? And then some of the skills we will be combi combining. When it comes to running and endurance, I'm not going to add more weight to my character. I'm just going to show you by naturally running which one you're leveling up faster. But of course, you must know in advance um, adding more weight to your character, like double your weight, double your carry weight will or more than double your carry weight will make it so that you are leveling up endurance faster than running but you don't really want to do that because you are going to be burning through your calories way too fast okay so the first one we're going to start with is brawling i am ready to spawn in a puppet if you like in Luthias, there's no way you can keep hitting puppets yes there is okay you can go to the big city or any populated place open a door let a puppet in beat him attract another puppet let him into the door beat him beat him up okay just trust me if you go to the big city you'll be able to get a heck of a lot of puppets to do this with i usually like to use a fat puppet and um, because he's slower and he takes a lot more hits um to kill so let's go starting the timer right now So the first one is just hitting puppets or hitting players, okay? So you're either going to keep hitting puppets or you're going to keep hitting players. You need to manage your stamina, otherwise you're going to get tired. So we can't just spam him to death. We need to manage our stamina and get as many shots in as a minute as we can, okay? And try and stay out of his range. There you can see because we're on zero stamina, we're a heck of a lot slower. So, this is how you level up brawling. That is your first skill in in the skill in the skills. And that's it guys that's it that's a minute let's see how much we got there we have got 72 xp that's 72 xp in one minute let's get on to the next one which will be the rifles if we're doing it in order like it is in your starting screen 
Okay, so the next skill is rifles. By far, the fastest way to level up rifles is to join events and then shoot people with free ammunition. And that will level up your rifles or your pistols or your sniping skill very, very quickly. Because you can join normal death matches with a rifle, a pistol, you know, or a sniper rifle. So that will allow you to level up all those, all three of those skills the fastest way possible. But if you're not a good shot, I mean, that speed will depend on how good you are at PvP. So, and maybe you're solo, maybe you don't like doing events. So let's just do it the old fashioned way and see exactly what the data is on just killing random puppets. Going to be starting the timer right now. And I'm on single shot, guys. Okay. Just keeping it the same. Just keeping it the same. Not doing ever anything too fast. Okay. And the reason I chose this this MP5 is you can get it in police stations very easily. Okay? Very, very easily. And this is better to keep an exact record instead of spawning in multiple puppets or using an AK. Okay, so the time's done. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we can just go. You'll do this much faster, guys, if you're killing multiple puppets in the big city, but we want to keep it the same everywhere. Okay, my guy's still getting cold, so I just need to spawn in some clothing for him so that our test test subject doesn't suffer but there we go in one minute shooting very very slowly at the same pace because we're going to be shooting everything at the same pace we got 5915 xp okay so next on the list will of course be melee weapons Okay, survivors just like with rifles or any kind of weapon you just have to hit um, a player or a puppet okay so the melee weapon that i've chosen is the club with nails which is very diff very easy to craft you just chop down a tree make a club out of a plank and then you add nails to it to make the um, club with nails okay so we're going to do this for a minute and one two three go Again, I'm just checking my stamina. Like I say, that's why I like using fat puppets, because they slow. And I like to keep my stamina up so that I'm fast. Okay, that's the last puppet. Time's up. Okay, now we go look at melee weapons. So in one minute, we gained roughly one minute. We gained 158 XP. Next one on the list is handguns, which works exactly the same like rifles and melee weapons. You have to hit a puppet or a player 
or you have to shoot a puppet or a player to level it up. Again, you can do a lot of different kind of events. There are MMA events, there are bow death matches. So you can level up all your combat skills in events much faster, especially if you've got a friend. Then you guys can just keep joining events and killing each other constantly. Okay? But we're doing it for everyone, so maybe some people just want to kill puppets. So let's go. Okay, so here we are with handguns, exactly the same system. We're going to try and shoot the puppets at exactly the same speed. Okay, so get him in. And yes, guys, 0.45 ammo and 9 more ammo. Is very strong since they buffed it <laughs> I'm thinking a UMP is gonna be the most powerful gun in the game I'm not sure but they're probably gonna balance it again that doesn't change how fast we level it up Should have actually done a puppet count here, instead of a time count. I think one more one should do it. Yeah, we shot 20 rounds with the last one. So that's a nice one. Okay. And now we go check. Handguns 4007 XP. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four done. Next one is archery. Just like the club, you can craft the bow very easily and we're going to be using the bow, which you can craft right at the beginning of the game. Instead of showing, instead of showing you a compound bow, <laughs> which we all can't get immediately. Okay, so here we go with a 20 pound bow. You can put 36 arrows and improvise backpack okay guys i'm just making this easier and faster so again let's just spawn in the same puppet start the timer remember players or puppets <laughs> probably doing the bow a little bit faster but it's fine we're just doing rough estimates here guys Okay, time is up. Let's go see how much XP we gained with that. We used, not sure how many arrows we used, but in any case, we gained 3,966 XP doing that for a minute. Okay, now that we're done with strength, we can just mention a few things in strength. Fame gets used more, okay, the more you, like, you gain less fame, the more fame you have. So you will see that when you get to about 600 fame, you're going to be gaining less and less fame, even if you've got no skill in something that you're doing. Like, if you've got zero fame and you go and shoot a puppet immediately with a bow, you're going to get an intense amount of fame from that puppet. But if you wait until, if you level up your rifles and your handguns um, 
or your melee weapons first, and then you start shooting puppets with a bow when you've got 500 or 600 fame, you're going to be wasting that in that intense fame increase because that's just how it works at the moment. That is what I've noticed with the test that I've done. So you would like to, if you saved up a skill where you've got no skill in it, just to gain fame, wait until you lose some fame, like you're back at 100 or 200 total fame before you use that skill to farm fame. Because if you just farm all the, all the skills at once, you're going to be getting depreciating returns on what you're doing. Literally throwing fame into the water, into the dustbin, okay? Because you're going to be earning less and less fame the more you have. And then yes, with this test, if we go now to strength, we can clearly see who are the winners here. Which skill skills level up the fastest? We can clearly see rifles is the winner, handguns and archery is basically the same, and then brawling and melee weapons will of course take a ton of time, which clearly tells us that you want to, if you start with a skill in the beginning, you want to take advanced melee weapons so that you get the max amount of skill points, which is 1,110,000 instead of taking two medium skills, which just gives you a total of 220,000 skill points. If you were trying to understand what I'm saying, just go look at my ultimate um, character build, ultimate survivor build video that I posted before this one. Now, let's move on to constitution. Okay guys, our gear weight is very, very standard at the moment. I didn't add anything to the character. He's just got on him, on, on him what we have used. So yes, we're sitting at a perfect gear weight of 19 kilograms um, out of 19 kilograms. So that is what the gear weight says. But of course we know we can carry more gear on us. And if we want to level up our dexterity as fast as possible, then we want double our gear weight and we want to jog everywhere okay as we know with previous with my previous videos so just by the little bit of jogging that i did um clearly we can see running is at 26 xp and endurance is at 11 xp okay so first let's just test 19 kilograms which is like normal okay that's probably the standard weight that you're gonna have on you when you're running around so let's start the timer in three, two, one, go, and we run. So it was 24 and 11, okay? We had 24 XP in running and 11 XP in endurance. And now we're just going to run for a minute with... Standard weight on us. Now, if you want to know the fastest way to level up running, it's clearly going to, going to be with no weight on you. Okay? If you want to be naked, be naked. Just make sure you're wearing shoes. Otherwise, your feet are going to start to bleed. But if you want to level up running as fast as possible, then commit suicide in game, you know, and put all your loot at your base and just run around with as little gear on you as possible okay so okay that's about a minute that's nice because that's where he got tired so 49 minus 24 is 25 okay so it's 25 um skill points there and 11 minus 29 is 17 18 yeah, it's 18, okay? So it's 25 and 18. So clearly we can see naturally the less weight we have on us, the faster we're going to be leveling up running, okay? But now let's do an insane test. Like if you say, Lutheus, I don't care if you tell me to take advanced endurance because I use much less water and um, energy by doing that. I want to take advanced running because I want to be as fast as possible and build my constitution as fast as possible. 
then let's see what how much weight you have to carry on you to level up endurance as fast as possible. So, yeah, this is going to be more than. Let's just let's just um. Yeah, let's just get a cement here. Cement is quite heavy. Put the cement there. Now, ah, then we just throw off this. Okay, two bags of cement. If we, if we really, really want to be technical, we can add a toolbox to it as well. Okay, so let's go add a toolbox as well. There we go. Really, is there no space for the toolbox? Oh, we are too heavy. We are too heavy. Okay. So let's just take that off us. Put that in there. Okay. So there we've got the maximum amount of weight on our hiking backpack. 60 out of 60. Let's start the timer. We've got 100% stamina. 3, 2, 1, go. So we had 49 and 25, eh? Yeah, we had 49 and 25. Let's see who wins now. We had 49 experience in running and we had 25 experience in endurance. Clearly we're not going to be able to run for a minute now because we're killing our character. But let's just push. Let's just push our character. He's dead. He can't run anymore. But we're AFKing this while we make ourselves some lunch or spend some time with our family. And the minute is over. The minute is over. So we're going to lie down now. Okay. So 66. So it's 40. 49 minus 66 is 17, so we gained 17 XP in running, and our endurance was on 25, and we gained, yeah, it was on 25, so we gained 60, 60 XP, okay, which is almost three, three times more than the, than the running that we gained, but nobody wants to do that, guys. Nobody wants to carry 60 kilograms on their character because they're going to have to eat like every 10 minutes, 5 minutes, which nobody wants to do, okay? So naturally, running is the, be is, is the best option to level up as fast as possible uh, because you can just put all the loot in your base Okay, that you've got nothing on you, just the shoes on you. And then you can run with him for about an hour a day or half an hour a day, depending on you. And because you took, and you've only got one option here. So I suggest you take advanced endurance so that you use as little water and food as possible so that you can level up your running for as, as fast as possible because Combined with endurance, you're going to be burning through your food and water slower, and then be, and then you're just going to be able to run all day and level that up sh slowly but surely without killing your character and burning through all the protein and fat that you need to level up your strength, constitution, and dexterity. Okay, so let's move on to dexterity. If you guys didn't understand all of that, Short version, you level up running the fastest by running with no weight on you. You level up endurance by running with as much weight as possible on you, but don't go ape shit. 60 is a good weight. You don't have to go higher than that. Okay, guys, so now we are at um, dexterity. Okay, dexterity starts with um, thievery. And yes, just a little bit of tactics when it comes to leveling up thievery. The fastest way by a mile is to use a lockpicking board 
okay, which you can craft. Then you want to find a single bobby pin, which you, which you can craft a lockpick out of. And then you want to find a single screwdriver. Now, the secret to this is that you want to be using gloves. The best method for this is to kill a bear, turn his paws into bear gloves, and then use the bear gloves while doing this. But again, I don't presume all of you to be killing bears all day. So any pair of gloves that you can find will help you a little bit. Then what you want to do, you want to hold F and you want to always do the advanced lockpick. Okay? And then all you're going to be doing is pressing the spacebar to start it, holding in your F key until it breaks and then pressing your spacebar again as many times as you can as long as you want okay so let's do that for a minute starting now so you just press your space bar to start it and then you hold in F I'm not doing this as fast as I can guys like I say with bear gloves it's much faster than this so I'm giving the normal player experience here, okay, without any major skills. Just holding your F till it breaks. If it's successful, you just start over, it's fine. Okay, that's a minute. Just gonna stop my timer, go out, and then there we see thievery. So we gained 4500 XP in one minute. Again, I'm just going to write it down. I'm not going to write down the running and endurance cards. It's extremely low. Okay. Um, so, let's just see. A thievery, we gained 4,500. 4,500. 4,500 XP in one minute. Okay, I'm not going to cut the video here. The next one, the two that I'm going to skip, guys, is driving and motorcycling. Okay. Okay. That's very, very easy. The fastest way to level up your driving is to drive any vehicle. The quad, um, the quad is included, you know, so the quad, um, I don't really, yeah, the quad, the pickup truck, the SUV, just to drive a vehicle, that includes the, the quad. And then the fastest way to level up motorcycling is to drive a motorcycle, the dirt bike or the Hell Rider dirt bike. Or the hell rider bike okay <laughs> that's it that's the fastest way you just have to drive as long as possible as fast as possible so i'd say the fastest is to just keep on the road stay on the road if you go on to if you go through the forest you're going to be slowing yourself down and yeah yeah you just want to be keep uh, keep driving of course it will be a bit safer driving through the forest but that's it okay you drive a vehicle, you drive a motorcycle. Now let's go to demolition. What you're going to be needing for demolition is the practice bomb, which again, you can craft, okay? In the crafting menu, there's the practice bomb, there's the lock picking board, okay? And then you just wanna find a wire cutter, which is very, very easy, okay? And then all you want to do is you wanna put the wire cutter in your hand, you want to go hold in F, don't pick it up, hold in F, disarm trap, that's step number one, step number two is you want to um, press the arrow keys, there it says on the right, use the arrow keys to set the practice time, we're going to take that all the way down to one, the reason we want to do this is we don't really want to be successful with what we're going to be doing now, because if you're successful at cutting all three wires in time, you get 250 XP. If you're not successful, every time you're not successful, you 
every time you cut the wrong wire you're getting 125 xp okay so you can clearly understand that you can fail a heck of a lot faster than what you can succeed just a side note guys this is not going to make you better at lock picking or the diffusal mini game it's going to level your skills up the fastest way possible but you're still going to need to practice them for real if you want to use them in the game it's just going to make lock picking easier for you once you get to advanced and it's going to make cutting wires easier for you when you get to advance because you will you'll have more time to cut the wires especially on a suicide puppet with medium demolition you're only getting three seconds with advanced demolition you're getting four seconds trust me that four seconds counts for a lot so now that we've set it to one second what we want to focus on is to just cut two wires we don't want to cut three wires we want to find a wire that is the wrong wire as much as possible so you'll be seeing uh, sometimes i'll be cutting a wire a heck of a lot of times in a row because that's what you're looking for you want the random wires to go in your favor so that you're cutting the wrong wire a heck of a lot of times so that you're failing the mini game as many times as possible and then you know i just cut two wires if I, you know if and if it's not the wrong wires it, and it's the right wires then i don't mind because the game will reset in one second okay so whether i pick the perfect two wires immediately and i don't fail it which is wasting my time then the one second is going to make sure that i fail it in any case so i don't need to focus on two wires or on three wires i can just do two wires okay so we're going to start the timer right now so i'm cutting it okay and i'm pressing i'm cutting and pressing space bar because you need to press space bar to restart the game and now you will see that when i get to a wire like that it's giving me a heck of a lot of fails okay you want to the mini game to restart as fast as possible as much as possible so that you gaining the xp as fast as possible you don't really want the second to be running out you want to find a wire you are hoping that you get to a wire that keeps keeps on being the wrong wire that's when you're actually getting the speed boost but we just want to play with two wires so we're spamming the left mouse button and the space bar okay we're spamming the left mouse button to cut the wire and we're spamming the space bar to restart the game as fast as possible okay space bar left mouse space bar left mouse okay that's it you can press escape the timer sounded the alarm and you can clearly see that demolition is way faster than thievery okay with this method because we got 10,000 XP to reach Bain, to reach basic demolition and we've gained another three and a half thousand XP on our way to medium demolition okay so it's 10,000 plus 3,500 which gives us 13,500 so let's write that down so it's 13,500 XP in one minute compared to 4,500 XP in one minute okay the difference between thievery and demolition so with my fastest methods possible again i don't use the bear gloves but there won't be a massive difference okay basically if you're not wearing bear gloves you're just doing the the normal way of doing it then you're going to be leveling up demolition three times faster than what you're leveling up thievery so why am i telling you this you can see this you're not blind I'm telling you this so that you know, know that every time you're playing and it's nighttime and you want to level up your skills, if you want to finish them at the same time, then you want to do the demo, the practice bomb for 10 minutes. Let's say 10 minutes, but you want to do the lock picking tool for 20 minutes. Okay. In this instance, it's three times faster. So 
you don't want to really do this for more than half an hour per day. So let's say five minutes on demolition and 15 minutes on thievery, giving you a total of 20 minutes during nighttime. You guys know nighttime on servers are quite long. Okay. So yeah, this is a good strategy. Five minutes on demolition and then 15 minutes on thievery. If you want to finish them at the same time, if you don't want to finish them at the same time, then give them equal amount of time. Just know that demolition is going to level up faster than thievery. Okay, throwing. Do we really need to test throwing? Yes, yes, yes. This is a complete guide, so let's go to throwing. Okay, guys, so now we are at throwing. Like I say, I've tested this for a lot of hours. A lot, a lot, a lot of hours, okay? I've uh, thrown puppets with and players with all kinds of objects, okay? It doesn't matter what you're throwing at the player or the puppet. It's not related to the damage that you're doing. It's just every time you hit a player or a puppet with something that you're throwing, you are going to be leveling up that skill. So the fastest way possible to level up the throwing skill is to just pick up a bunch of small stones. We all know how to get small stones, okay? And then you right click on the stone, you say add to quick access, and then you activate the throwing mode on the stone, okay? And then you press three, and then automatically if you press G, you're going to automatically be throwing it. So what I'm gonna do now is not gonna waste too much time going through all the options. Just going to spawn in this puppet and I'm going to throw it slowly, guys. You can spam the puppet with as many rocks as you can, but you're going to be missing him a few times as well then because every time you throw a puppet with a stone, he backs away, okay? He gets staggered backwards. So if you just stand still and keep throwing him, you, at, at some point you'll be wasting a stone, which I'm not full of shit. I'm just saying, if you want the fastest way possible, Make sure you don't miss any of the stones, okay? So you want to be throwing him and moving closer to him at the same time to make sure every hit is counting towards the skill. And you don't want to be too close to him. Otherwise, the stone is going to rebound off him and hurt you, okay? So let's go. G, 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 move closer. 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 There I'm throw. There I threw myself, which I spoke about. As you can see, you can do this forever because it takes very, very long to kill them this way. So you can just play with one puppet all day long. And that's it. We're done with playing with him. Okay. So we didn't even use all the stones in the, in the hiking backpack. Okay, but let's go throw and see now. Throwing 2,475 XP. Okay, won't take us long to get to medium. I really won't level this up to advanced, but I'm just saying. So, 2,475 XP in one minute. Okay, this must be a complete guide, guys. So let's just quickly drive with the vehicle for a minute and let's just quickly drive with a motorcycle for one minute so that you can see what the advantages are. Okay, so I'm just going to be spawning in um, an SUV. Okay, getting in. Of course, this thing is going to be stalling a lot, which happens when you've got no driving skill. But let's just see. 
Okay, how long we take? So I'm going to start the timer. No, I'm going to start the timer when the car gets going, guys. Your handling is going to suck as well. Okay. Okay, th there we go. There we go. Start. Okay. So here we go. With no driving skill, you can drive at at least 62 kilometers per hour. Okay. And yeah. You're going to struggle to start it, but once you have it going, you'll be fine. Now you can just drive it all the time. You're going to need to put in regular fuel at gas stations. You're going to have to take care of it so that it doesn't explode. And drive it, just driving it charges up your battery. Okay, in the future, and the devs are going to change this so it's more difficult to build up vehicles with various parts. But for now, this is the ultimate, you know, this is the fastest skill leveling guide for SCUM 0.6. As soon as SCUM 0.7 comes out and anything changes, I will be making you guys a new one. Okay? Are we going to crash here or what? That's it. That's a minute, guys. Now this is a flat surface, if I was on a different terrain, I could have struggled a little bit more. But there, no, 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 there we go, 52 XP, okay, with a minute of driving. Again, let's make this quick, let's get in, this is not going to be 20 minutes guys, but, you know, it's a lot of information and I need to explain it to you guys properly. So there's the dirt bike. We're going to climb on the dirt bike. The great thing with the motorcycle skill is you don't suck when you get on it. Okay, so I'm just going to start the timer. Um, I'm just going to start the timer immediately because I know I'm not going to stall. So I'm going to start the bike. And then I'm going to start the timer because I know I'm not going to stall. So your starting speed with a dirt bike is 41 kilometers per hour and you can reach at advanced motorcycles it's going to be about 105 kilometers per hour roughly and then if you want to know with um driving and a vehicle you're going to start at 62 kilometers per hour like we did and you're going to end at a top speed of 155 kilometers per hour okay um of course a dirt bike is a lot more fun Although it's a lot weaker, it can be blown up much easier. It can be lost by driving into stuff a lot easier. And um, yeah, this one has no inventory space, but all, but luckily the Hell Rider has inventory space. The negative thing is this bike you can lift your friend on. With the Hell Rider that has the inventory space, you can't lift your friend on. Okay, and that is a minute. Okay. So, for a minute in motorcycling, that is 34 XP. And it's unnecessary for me to do anything else now except just try and change the weather for you guys so that we can just see a little bit more here. Yeah? Okay. So, the only skill that we haven't touched is stealth. Okay, we've got one XP there. Okay. So... With stealth, the fastest way possible to level up stealth is definitely the clothing that you're wearing helps you, okay? But you don't need to have camo, um, camo, you know, you don't have to have camouflage clothing on to help you. Stealth is just about making noise, but it's also about movement speed. So a lot of people will tell you just to prone crawl, okay, to level up both, but that is not the most effective way to level up both. The most effective way to level up stealth is to go into crouch mode and then you press shift W and then you just keep on walking like this and you will see how fast we're leveling it up now. So I'm going to press start. Okay, we're going to do this for a minute. Doesn't matter. Okay, you don't want to do this... Um, on a hard surface because you want to make as little sound as possible. Okay, but this is this you just you just crouch walk. Okay? And you and you will see now that it's faster than proning. Just gonna do this for a minute.
And if any of you guys, like I said, guys, I tested this for about 20 hours, okay? But if any of you have um, gotten a brilliant idea that you can beat this, okay? If, you know, if you want to give me a faster way, don't beat this. Don't beat the, the minute that I'm doing here by a small amount of XP, okay? If you've got a better way, um, show me a way that will, that I can test, okay? And that will give, give players a lot more XP, okay? Um, don't show me something that is roughly the same because it still adds up to being the fastest way you can do it. But if you guys have got any special ways to beat the XP I have um, done, please don't go join an event or go to the city and throw a hand grenade to attract all the puppets in a bundle and then shoot all the puppets in that bundle with your AK and say, my guide sucks, okay? <laughs> because I know there's faster ways with, 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 the, with the rifles and the handguns and stuff like that. I'm just trying to make the data the same so that we can compare them better with each other, okay? If you've got another method, so you're doing something completely different to me, and it's giving you a lot more experience in one minute, then leave it down in the comments below and let's share it with the community. That's what I'm here for, to help you guys, okay? And it, you guys can help each other as well. So, that was a minute. So in a minute, we gained 38. XP. Okay, so now if we go and if we go and crawl, we're gonna do this for a minute. Okay, so that was 38 XP. I think it's gonna be now that I'm thinking back on my test, I think it's gonna be the same. But what we are doing now is we're leveling up our camouflage as well. Okay, so yeah, this is this is literally a camouflage. This is the fastest way possible to level up your camouflage okay just to crawl through grass um okay we had 39 xp with the stealth eh? we had 39 xp with the stealth so we should end on 78 xp if it's if it's exactly the same speed i felt it was a little bit faster when i um you know crouch walked but if it ends on 78 then i'm wrong Okay, I am right, guys. <laughs> I am right, but by by 8 XP. Would be freaking do. Okay? I'm right by 8 XP. So, that's your choice. Okay? Um, so, yeah, basically, you can um, prone crawl through grass to level up your stealth. And your conscious and your camouflage. So we're killing two birds with one stone there. Okay, so with a minute of crawling or um, crouch walking, okay, we're getting about let's put it at a round number, forty XP. Forty XP. Um, I wrote down thirty-four here. Yeah. Okay, if it was only 34 that we gained the first time, then it's exactly the same speed. Okay, so let's make it exactly the same speed. 35 XP, whether you're crouch walking or crawling for stealth. Okay, and then for the camouflage, we receive 549 XP in one minute just by crawling through grass. Okay, so at least we covered one, and unfortunately... Um, we leveled up awareness while I was spawning in items, but we'll get to a round number there to make it better. I'll, I'll like try and get us to 1000 XP before we do the awareness thing. Um, but let's just cover dexterity. Okay. So clearly thievery is easy. Um, demolition is easy. Throwing is easy. Okay. So the ones that are going to take long is driving, motorcycling, and stealth. So again, in my ultimate um, survival build for scum 0 0.6, I chose stealth 
because stealth helps you to not be detected easily by players. It helps you to get past megs. So it helps you with megs, puppets, and players. Okay? Where driving or motorcycling is just going to help you with a car or a bike. But that's up to you. Okay? If you don't care about megs or puppets, or you think you've got puppets and megs mastered, but you want to get around the map as fast as possible, then don't take advanced stealth. Take advanced motorcycling or advanced driving. That's completely up to you. Although if you want to get around the map as fast as possible, clearly you need to take advanced driving because vehicles are faster than, than motorcycles. If you want to have the most amount of fun right from the start on a motorcycle, you know, then you take advanced motorcycling. But for now, uh, the chance that you're going to die or lose the motorcycle at advanced motorcycles are quite high, especially when you're trying to go through the forest. So, yeah, the best value for your, for your free skill points, which you get when you start your character is to take stealth at advanced, guys. Um, if you understand, and if you want to understand why you have to, why you have to take one skill to advanced in each attribute, then yeah, just watch the previous video that I uploaded. Okay. Now we're going to do intelligence. Don't worry, guys. It's not going to take very long. We're going to do awareness, engineering and survival at the same time and we've already done camouflage okay so what i think is let's crush sniping quickly sniping is extremely easy sniping is extremely easy guys the fastest way to level up sniping is to take this little mp5 that you picked up at a police station but unfortunately we need oh if i have to load that ammo again okay it's fine i'll load the ammo into the mp5 again um and I think we can put an ACOG on here. Okay, so I'll be back now with sniping. Okay, guys, now we are at the sniping skill. And I just want to repeat this. I can level rifles and sniping up extremely fast if I spawn in 20 puppets at a time. But I'm trying again to have the, have the stats be very, very the same with the speed at which we're doing things. But again, if you find an ACOG or a hunting scope very, very early in the game and a rifle or a sniper rifle, then use the ACOG as much as you can because you're going to be killing two birds with one stone. What I mean by that is you're going to be leveling up rifles, <coughs> excuse me, and your sniping skill, okay? Or if you find a black or crossbow very quickly, and you can add an ACOG to that, then just snipe puppets with a black or crossbow all day, because a crossbow um, levels up your rifle skill, is connected to rifles as well, then you can level up your rifles and your sniping at the same time, okay? So, to make this realistic, like you're walking into the big city, shooting one puppet at a time, <laughs> okay? Killing one with two shots getting your aim onto another one and shooting that while moving around and not standing still so that a player can snipe you off a roof, okay? Attracting the puppets slowly one by one. Let's do that. There we go. We've got the fat puppet. So, yeah. What was the rifle skill at? The rifle skill was at... 5,915 points. It was at 5,915 points and our sniping skill is at zero. So let's start the timer now. Okay, I want to switch to single fire. That's not single fire. I'm going to switch again. That's single fire, okay? Zoom in with a scope. Use the scope, right mouse button. Okay, use the scope. So that you level up sniping and your rifle skill. Oh, 
So the puppets are in the big city, are running towards you guys, and you are just sniping them. Off a roof or whatever you want to do. I'll give it one more while I was explaining. I think we can kill at least two more puppets while I was changing the firing mode. And that's it. Timer done. That's roughly, roughly one minute. So, there we go. 5,854 points in sniping. Just by doing that for a minute. As you can see, we're not using a ton of bullets, guys. We're not spamming it. Okay. 5854. Okay, and we had 5,900, about 5,925. Huh, looks like we didn't gain any of the rifle skill anymore. That's interesting. I find that quite cool. Let us just see something, guys. I just want to see something quickly. Let's spawn in. Because this is the fastest leveling guide for Scum 0 0.6. So let's spawn in the black. Um, black Orc. Okay, and then we spawn in... Bolts. No, 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 no. This is not the time to get a brain fart. B bolt. Yeah, it's a bolt. I'm thinking it's not going to give me the bolt that I want. <laughs> I have a sneaker suspicion. It's not giving, not going to give me the bolt that I want. Bolt. There we go. So we just want a normal wooden bolt. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's take this ACOG off here. Put the gun there. Take the black hawk. Okay. Put that ammo in there. Um, load the black hawk. Add the scope to it. Okay. Let's just see here. Uh, rifles, 5,900. 5,900. Sniping, 5,900 roughly. Okay. And now we're going to kill a puppet. But I think we're going to need to shoot him in the head. And we can do it normally as well. Only thing is, we're going to lo be losing stamina while we're reloading it. No, there we go. Kill about three puppets. Kill about three puppets with the ACOG. Just see, I love what these devs do, man. I just love what they do. I couldn't have made this better, guys. I'm sure we couldn't have made this better, I promise you. Okay, let's reload again. So we were at roughly 5,900 with both. Okay. Okay, so there we gained, we were on 5,000 roughly, so there we gained 1,100. We still didn't gain, okay, we gained something, guys, but extremely, extremely little. Okay, so the days of freaking blasting through your rifle and your sniping skill at the same time is gone, okay? But at least we know how to do it as fast as possible. Get an AK, get a really, really fast gun. I suggest using the MP5 because it can fire, fire really quickly. And since they buffed the 9mm and the .45mm ammo, I feel the UMP is one of the most powerful weapons in the game at the moment.
uh, because of the firing rate and the damage that those bullets do. Uh, but we will be doing a damage test later. I'm just going to give them some time to maybe nerve it. Okay, I think, um, I hope they know that it's a little bit too strong. It's a little, little bit too strong. Okay, um, I don't want them to nerve it by a lot, but I think they must nerve it. Um, so yeah, we'll do a damage test in the future. In any case, we now have to level up rifles very fast. We now have to level up sniping very fast. Kill a bunch of puppets with a rifle. And then if you want to level up sniping, kill a bunch of puppets with an ACOG or any scope. Not the sights, the scopes. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. We're at the end. Okay. The only skills that are left is awareness. Um, engineering and survival and then we will be covering medical very quickly i think you guys will find that quite funny but the reason my ultimate ball that starts with advanced medical is just it's, it's something that you don't really do but you can you can do it so i think you guys will find this quite entertaining now we're going to level up um, our survival skill our engineering skill and our awareness skill at the same time so we've got roughly a thousand one hundred let me just write it down okay let's be precise here we've got a thousand one hundred and forty five xp at awareness okay and what we what you need to level up survival engineering and awareness as fast as possible is a chainsaw a chainsaw with fuel in it okay now you can do this uh, um where we were in the normal forest or in the snow okay or in the snow area i like to do it in the snow area because what happens when i cut down a tree um i want to get to the stack of branches as fast as possible now in the forest i might take a few seconds to spot it because there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of um, trees and bushes and everything in the normal forest. Um, and then it takes me time to find it. Okay. Um, so in the snow, I can just see everything a lot quicker and do everything a lot quicker. And then again, the, the pile of branches, which you guys will see now. Now, if you cut down a tree, guys, you get logs and you get that, those pile of branches. The pile of branches has a thick side on it with like a branch going to the one side and the sticks usually spread out the sticks that come out of it usually spread out in that line of that little branch okay and um, which i will show you now but again i don't really want to look at which way that bro that pile of you know that branch pile is pointing to you know, or where exactly it's going to go. I just want to look where it's going to go. Okay, so we've got 1,145. We've got zero survival, zero engineering. This is perfect. So we press R to start our chainsaw. This is the fastest way possible, guys. Of course, you can do it with an axe or a metal saw. Whatever you want to use, okay? This is just the fastest way possible to level up. And a chainsaw is by far the fastest. So, let's start the time. We're going to do this for three minutes, guys, because we're covering three skills. So, on a marks, get set, go. You cut down a tree. Then we're going to process the, the, the wood, uh, the, the logs. And of course, the chainsaw gives you the most amount of logs, guys. Which is very good for the engineering skill, which you will see now. The chainsaw literally gives you more logs from a tree and more planks from a log. Which is just a plus and a plus and a plus.
Sorry about that, guys. My timer was still on one minute. So the alarm went off. So I just put it on two minutes now. To be a total of three minutes. See, like here. This is the thick part of the branch. And the sticks are going to go that way. More or less that way. Okay? But I don't need to worry about that. Because I can just look where they go. Okay, so there they spread out. You see, it's not exactly a rocket science, but they usually go, now I just want to walk to all of them. I want to see all of them in my vicinity, so I want to walk over them, over all of this, so that I am leveling up my awareness. Okay, because awareness gets leveled up by what you see in your area. And again, what item can you cut up or do something to that that pops out the this amount of items at once okay nothing so the pile of branches is great for awareness so now what we do is we've leveled we've leveled up our survival by processing the tree and the logs and by processing the uh, bun the pile of branches we've leveled up our awareness by everything that has you know that's in our that we see in our vicinity and we want to walk all, all over the sticks we can process every single long stick now into small sticks as well okay and then how are you going to do the engineering you're going to go crafting you're going to go and craft the single door frame you always want to craft the second last item you want to place down the blueprint of the second last item ignore the flags okay so let me make let me make this clear you want to do the single door frame you want to put down the blueprint okay hold shift press f hold f delete alt c to craft it again to to do the blueprint again shift f add all the planks holding f destroy it alt c place shift f place all the planks hold in f destroy okay move a bit closer to where all the planks are then alt c shift f alt c shift f hold in f destroy And I don't care if there's two planks left. I want to use those two planks for experience. Shift F. Okay, so we've processed all the planks. We can use these sticks on our wall if we want to. And yeah, that was roughly that was roughly three minutes, guys. Okay. So what happened here? We took engineering to 2570 2578 XP. 2,578 XP with one tree, boys. One tree and a chainsaw. We took survival to 800 XP. With one tree. And then our awareness was on 1145. It's now on 1540. Let's say 1545. Okay, let's make it 400 XP. So we gained 400 XP there. 400 XP with one tree. Okay, that's the fastest combo you can have. If you don't, if you love to take advanced engineering and you just want to level up survival and awareness as fast as possible, then the tree cutting down the tree and cutting down the bundle of sticks is going to give you the most amount of xp for one cut it's going to give you less xp if you processing the log or processing a stick or something like that okay so you're going to gain the most amount of xp for cutting down a tree and and cutting down the bundle of sticks and then you are just focusing on the you're just focusing on survival and awareness if you started with advanced engineering which 
is not a bad option. So what we, so what I'm going to show you now is we know what XP we've gained on awareness and survival. Okay, but now we're going to do three minutes again. Really, the tires? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Okay, starting three minutes right now. Okay, the time's up. Looks like we ran out of fuel. <laughs> this guy's dying. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so of course we didn't level up engineering because we didn't process the logs or the planks. But now we went from gaining 400 XP in awareness to, um, okay, it was at 1,100, then it went to 1,500, now it's at 2,500. So we, we, we gained an extra 1,000 XP in awareness, okay? So double the awareness that we gained when we processed everything. And then for survival, we were on, well, we gained 800 XP, but now we are at, uh, Three two thousand three hundred, so that's an extra thousand five hundred XP. Again, more or less double the speed. Okay, so if you want to focus on awareness and survival, just cut down the tree and then the branches. Tree branch, tree branch, tree branch, tree branches. Okay, um, or do the whole thing if you want to level up all three of them at the same time. Um, okay, but not really focusing on one single thing then an, a really nice way is also going to the lumber the lumber yard okay the lumber yard right here 
and then just looting um, all the pla you know all the planks from the lumber yard and just adding it to blueprints. That's also extremely fast. Okay, let's end with some fun. Let's do the medical. What have you got in store for us? Something that I thought was hilarious. Okay, guys, we're going to end on the only skill that we haven't covered, which is the medical skill. Now, what you want to do with the medical skill is treat yourself as much as possible. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we can jump off something and hurt ourselves and then treat ourselves. We can ask our friend to hit us and treat ourselves. Or if we don't have a friend, we can get a puppet to hit us. The problem is we don't want to get hit too hard. So we don't want to jump down too far. Otherwise, we're going to lose too much health and waste time recovering from that injury. And we don't want our friend to hit us too hard or the puppet to hit us too hard because the faster they drain all our health, the longer it's going to take us to stabilize those wounds and recover all those wounds, okay? And we're looking at the fastest way possible to do it. So one way to do it is to go get a Thin Puppet. Thin Puppet does the least amount of damage. And then the second way to receive the least amount of damage and do what I'm going to show you now is by blocking. Okay, now you can't do this with a melee weapon, but... Why aren't you equipping... Why aren't you equipping it, my friend? Why aren't you equipping it? It's fine. Let's put in our hands. Okay. So we can block like this. Okay. So let's block like that. It's fine. Because what we want to do is we want to open the door. Let him eat us. Um, you know, and then close the door. That's why I don't want to use a knife, guys. Because I want to hit him to stagger him and then come out the come out the cabin. You always want to use a cabin or somewhere where you can find a single puppet, okay? I don't want to hit him with a knife because then I'm going to kill him and I can't use him anymore, okay? I want to use him to keep on hitting me and um, injure, opening up my injuries all the time so that those injuries become worse and worse and so that I have to use more and more rags. So what you can do is just fill your backpack with a bunch of rags, which is easy. You just get take all the clothing that you pick up while you're looting, cut them into rags, make ra rag bundles, okay? And then when you get to this stage, if you ever want to do this, then unpack, okay? Unpack your... Um, Yeah, where is it? Unpack your bundle of rags and then, or just make bundle of rag strips. What I normally do is I make a bundle of rags, unpack the the rags, cut it up with my knife into rag strips, and then I do what I'm going to do now. Okay? So, we have got zero medical skill. Let's go. Is that a thin puppet? I think it's a thin puppet. Great. So now we're going to block. This is excellent, man. One. Two. Let, let, hit me again. One. And then I'm going to hit him. And then I'm going to close the door. Okay. I don't want to hit him a lot because I need him. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the injury. We're going to do it one at a time. Okay. One at a time is faster. And one at a time is going to help you um, to gain more experience. But again, one at a time is going to help you later now now when he opens up our wounds repeatedly one at a time is going to help us to take a c2 or c3 bleeding marker down to a c2 or a c1 much faster okay so we just want to add the rags hold your mouse up here add it okay the circle is complete so now you're going to have to select this one okay Circle is complete. Don't wait for it to stabilize, guys. Don't wait for it to stabilize. Okay, bladder full. Really, do we have to pee? Okay, so just by that little bit there, we gain 75 XP. Okay, but we want to see how much, how much XP can we get in a session like this before we have to go lie down somewhere, okay? And call it a day. So here we go. One... 
Come on, buddy, hit me. Two, three. Will he stagger him? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, that was more. Now we lost. That was more than what we wanted. So we want to start with a C2. We want to start with a C2 injury to get it into C1 as fast as possible. Okay, there's already C1. Okay, so now we can just go down the line like we did. Just one rag at a time, guys. It's not a it's not a lot faster than completing a circle every time, but it does give you it does give you a little bit more XP, and it does save your health a little bit more, so that you can get that C four, so that you can get that major bleeding marker into a, so that you can lose less blood quicker because you're changing a very lethal injury into a less lethal injury as far as possible. So here we go again, exactly the same strategy. We're just gonna block him. Hit him and close the door. Just stagger him, close the door, see. Uh, now because he's opening up our injuries all the time, it's getting worse and worse. So we're going to need to use more and more um, rag strips. But we want to stop the bleeding because that's going to le um, let us die. So now we want to get to the C2 before we carry on with the C1. We want to get to the C2. We want to get the Cs lower as fast as possible because uh, a, C a C4 lets you bleed a lot faster than a C1, which means you're losing health. A lot faster and we're trying to conserve our health as much as possible so that we can treat ourselves as much as possible so that we can level up our medical skill as fast as possible and of course this is going to help you guys that are uh, that have already created a character and don't want to remake your character this is going to help you a lot because yeah you probably didn't focus the medical skill Okay, it just gave me one, it's fine, I don't want, he gave me one bleeding marker, but I've still got the same health, so that's great. I normally don't want him to hit me more than twice now, uh, because then he gives me too many major bleeding wounds, and then I lose my health just way too quickly, okay? So there I'm coming back, one two, I hit him, I close the door, okay, so now I have to fix the C3 first, always look at the bi bi biggest one, and our objective here is to treat ourselves as much as possible, so if we just complete the circle, we're not going to be treating ourselves as much as possible, we're still going to get more XP, guys, if we complete the circle every single time, but... If we do it one by one, we're gaining a little bit more XP. And of course, like I said, we're treating ourselves a little bit faster. We are stopping major bleeding markers a lot faster. We're making them smaller a lot faster. If you try and close a C4 wound immediately, this circle, this little timer is going to take very, very long. <laughs> Whoopsie, whoopsie. Okay, now I want to... No, no, no! Oh, hit him! Oh, damn it. Okay, now, now, now we're in trouble. Okay, now we're 41 health. 41 health, that's not too bad, but he's dead now. Our test subject, our, 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 our puppet, our medical puppet is uh, dead. So we're going to have to go look for another puppet. But a cabin works very well you can use any room that you can you know close the door um as well you can jump through a window and then jump out the window you know you can go to a house jump in the window let him hurt you and then jump out the window you know jump in jump out jump in jump out okay a lot of options this was out of all the tests that i did this one was the most fun for me 
And yeah, I always just get one puppet here. And a lot of the time it is a thin puppet. When I go to houses to jump in and out of a window, it's not always a thin puppet. Okay, that's the problem. It's not always a thin puppet. Um, and they kill you a lot quicker. If it's like a fat puppet or a strong puppet, they're going to kill you a heck of a lot quicker. So you're not going to be able to um, treat yourself, okay, fast enough. But now we don't need the puppet. We're just going to try and break our wounds here. Okay, but most of it is bruises, so it's not really working. Come on, come on, open up. Open up. Open up. Open up the bleeding injury. You don't want to open up the bleeding injury. You're lame, man. You're lame. Yeah, now you're just losing health. Okay, so now we need a puppet. So you see, this isn't a thin puppet. This isn't a thin puppet, so this is bad. But he's gonna, she's gonna hit us harder. So now we can hit her. And then, oh shit. Oh, you see, that's not... That, yeah, this is a little bit... Okay, C4 first. C4 first, guys. C4 first. Have to get the skull away as fast as possible. I think this is it. I think we don't want to get hit again. I think our health is going to be quite low after this. But we're stopping the, bl uh, the major one. Okay, as quickly as possible. Do we have a C3? Yeah, let's, let's go to the C3 now. We want to get the injuries... Um, to lose less blood as fast as possible. So we always focus on the bigger ones. And yeah, I usually stop when I'm below 20% health, guys. You can push it until it kills you. Okay, but that's a waste. Because you need to, yeah, it's better to use a hiking backpack um, to have as many rags on you as possible, as possible. You know, so play it safe. That was what I did there wasn't playing it safe. You need to get out of this situation before you at around 20% health. So you can go lie in a bush, heal, you know, recover everything and then call it a day. You can do this once a day, guys. I don't suggest you doing this too long. Okay. But you can do this once a day. So this was the most interesting one for me because you have to get away to treat yourself as much as possible. And playing with a puppet is fun. Playing with your friend is even more fun because your friend is going to listen to you. Your friend's, your friend's only going to hit you when you want him to hit you. So, of course, a friend's going to be the fastest way there is. But if you don't have a friend, then play with a puppet or find somewhere where you can jump off of and get the same amount of damage. But that's always going to be on your feet or your legs. The puppets hit you at various places to open up various wounds. Okay? So yeah, that's just what I figured out there. And that gives us 825 XP. So if we do that like 12 or 13 times, we'll be at basic medical. And if then if we do it 130 times, we'll be at medium medical. And then if we do it another 1,300 times will be at um, advanced. Who wants to do this a thousand three hundred times? No one, but you're going to be doing it naturally as well. But that's why I prefer starting with advanced medical, guys. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely the slowest. Like, you don't have to even have to think about it. We did this for longer than a minute. Clearly, we did this for longer than a minute. You guys are already falling asleep. Okay, behind your computer screen. But you can see here, 28%, 30%, 26%, 71%, 23%. Okay, this is definitely the slowest to level up. And it's going to help you with your survivability a lot. And you can level up the others quite fast. So that's why I say you want to start with advanced medical right from the start. Or whatever you choose. You've got the data. This is... The fastest le skill leveling guide for scum um, on the 0 0.6 patch, okay? If any major changes happen, I'll bring you guys another one later in the future. If you guys have faster ways than this, which is completely different, leave it in the comments below that we can help each other. 
And um, hope you have a fantastic day, boys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I know this was a long video again. I thought I could keep it to like half an hour, but clearly it's not going to be in half an hour. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Cheers.